Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm about to show you guys how to make this smothered chicken and rice southern style. It was so rich in flavor. I cannot wait to show this to you guys. Make sure you watch the video to the end and don't forget to let me know what you think about this recipe in the comment section. Let's get to it. Alright, so first things first, let's go ahead and start our prep. We're going to start by prepping a green bell pepper, a red bell pepper. Also, we're going to be prepping one medium onion as well. Alright, for the bell pepper, you just want to make sure that you cut down the sides. Just going to break that down. Alright, and we're just going to cut these into one fourth strips. Alright, now for the red bell pepper, you're going to cut it down the same way. Last but not least, we're going to chop the onion. Alright. And this is all the prep that we're going to be prepping today, as you can see. Alright, and once the prep is done, we're just going to place it to the side. And we're going to go ahead and start our marinade. Alright, so now we're about to season the chicken. What I have done is already, so I already rinsed and cleaned my chicken. And also you want to make sure you pat it dry, really dry, so that way that the flour does not come off the chicken. Once you get your chicken cleaned and dried out, you can go ahead and add it to a bowl. And then we're going to add in our seasoning. This is about three pounds of chicken. Again, this will feed between four to six people. All right, now it's time to season the chicken. For the seasoning, we're just gonna keep it simple. We're gonna add some salt. Don't be afraid to be a little bit heavy-handed on the seasoning. I'll make sure I leave the exact measurements inside of the comment box, so that way you guys are following along and also have the exact measurements. We're gonna add in some onion powder, garlic powder, smoked paprika. And last but not least, you're gonna add some of your favorite Cajun seasoning. I went with Slap Your Mama. You can go with any style Cajun seasoning you like. All right, once the season's in, you're just gonna mix it in. You wanna make sure that you get the chicken well coated in that seasoning. All right, so once the chicken is fully seasoned, we're gonna go ahead and drench it in flour. And I'm gonna show you how that process works. So you're gonna get you some flour. So gonna get you about two, three cups of flour. And you're gonna put it inside of a bowl and we're going to drench it in flour. We're not gonna add any seasoning to the flour because we already added it to the chicken. This is another reason why I added so much seasoning to the bowl as well because we lose a lot of seasoning, believe it or not. All right, and it should look something like this. As you can see, the chicken is fully coated on all sides of it. All right, so now you're just gonna place that to the side and then we're gonna start the fun part. So you wanna add over a pan to medium high heat. You don't want your, your oil to get too hot because you don't wanna burn your chicken. All right, so when I place my chicken in, I like to fold the flat back a little bit. That way that the chicken can fit more in the skillet. So this part is completely optional, but honestly, it just helps me out a lot. All right, and then in batches, we're just gonna cook all of our chicken until it's golden brown. It doesn't have to be cooked all the way through because we're gonna be placing it in the oven as well. So we're just cooking it until it's golden brown. As you can see, as I flip them over, this one kind of popped up and it's okay. This is the golden brown that you're looking for. Remember, we're not trying to cook this all the way through. Our goal is just to get it golden brown so that way we can get the skin crispy and we can pop it in the oven. That way it still has a nice, nice little crisp to it. All right, once it's golden brown like this, we're gonna put it in our oven pan. So I did forget one important ingredient, and you're gonna to need to mix you up some garlic. All right, into the same pan, we're gonna go ahead and add in a half a stick of butter. While the butter is melting down, we're gonna add in our minced garlic. All right, so after like one minute, one or two minutes, we're gonna go ahead and add in the mixed vegetables. Just gonna saute these down for about three to four minutes. Now guys, while you're sauteing down the veggies, go ahead and preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So that way when you're done with this part, you can already have the oven heated up, plus, you know, save your little electricity you don't have to start in the beginning. Get started as soon as we get to this part. All right, for this next part, we're gonna go ahead and add about a tablespoon of flour. This process will help with the sauce. It's gonna help thicken up that gravy. Typically when you fry the chicken, that helps thicken up the gravy as well, but I always like to add just a little bit more flour to it. So you can add about a teaspoon to a tablespoon of flour. It's really up to you if you want the sauce to be uh, thicker. Sometimes I feel like just with the skin alone, it just comes out too, too loose, too watery. I like mine a little thick. All right, next you want to slowly incorporate your chicken broth. You're going to add in about two cups of chicken broth. Like that, you want to make sure that you slowly add it in. You don't want to add it in too fast. It's a chance to incorporate with that flour that you added to the bell peppers and onions. All right, next you're gonna add in some heavy creamer. Once again, guys, I will have the exact measurements inside of the comment box or the description box below, so make sure that you're referring back to that. All right, so now for the gravy, you just wanna add some seasoning. We're gonna go ahead and go in with about a teaspoon of the salt. 
You can adjust the ingredients based off your preferences. Make sure you taste it as you go. If I add a little bit of onion powder in there, it's gonna pretty much add everything that we added to the chicken in there. Add some more garlic powder, some more smoked paprika, just a little bit. And just a little bit more Cajun. Just gonna stir that in really good. Now that my sauce is heated up, I'm going to turn it down. Now that our chicken and sauce is done, we're going to go ahead and add it to our chicken. Remember, it's going to continue to thicken up because of the flour that's on the chicken. So we're just gonna pour that over the chicken. I'm gonna add in some more butter, give it a more savory taste when I add the last part in. I'm not just gonna throw it all in one spot. All right, now we're just gonna wrap it in foil and we're gonna place this in the oven for about 30 to 45 minutes on 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay guys, so one thing I would like to add is when you're halfway through the cooking time, I want you to go ahead and remove the foil from the chicken. And you're just going to pretty much just make sure that the chicken is fully submerged and we're gonna leave it off for the remainder of the time. All right, and there you have it. In order to let the sauce thicken up some more, you're just gonna let that sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. It gives the chicken some time to relax, which will make it a lot more tender as well. Don't forget to follow the page. This dish will pair really well with some rice and some sweet cornbread. If you like my recipes, don't forget to like this video. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Until next time, peace out.